Good morning, guys. Today, I'm going to be talking about design leadership. really have a topic for today and so I went to this bank of ideas that I've written down for days just like this. If I'm being honest I just didn't feel like making a video today. I just wasn't in the mood. I've got a lot of things on my mind and they're not making videos but I've made a commitment to put out as much content as I possibly can while I have the time and so I just thought to hell with it. I'm gonna go to that list I'm gonna choose something and today I chose design leadership. A design leader is the person who's ultimately responsible for leading the design team. Now, design team is not just made up of graphic designers or UI designers. It can be UX designers, service designers, verbal designers. So that's your writers, that's your content strategists. A design leader needs to have a few skills to be able to be positioned to lead a team of people on a daily basis. A few of the skills that you should have. Firstly is, are you actually a leader? Leaders are generally not trained. Leaders are usually quite natural. And I've always found the best leaders that I know are people who are usually passionate and invested. And they're able to put aside their own ambitions and to rather go and find the collective ambition and bring that out of the team. It's usually not somebody who's all self-inflated, but somebody who has the interests of both the, the team and the organization and is able to stand up, communicate effectively, and drive that team forward. The next skill that you need is the ability to build a team. It's being able to identify the objectives of the, the business or the project and be able to say, these are the right resources that we need and then to utilize those resources correctly. To be able to go and get the money needed to hire the appropriate resources, to be able to identify weaknesses, to be able to help people through their shortcomings and collaborate in a way that benefits an output that the team can be proud of. Quite often people believe that if you're a manager you're not a doer. But the best managers were the people who were doers. Personally, I worked for years building my own projects. So my ability to understand the people that I manage is that much greater because I understand what they're going through. I understand what it is to resolve conflicts within the team, to be able to create a culture that they thrive in, and to be able to lead by doing. As a manager, I get to mentor and coach and really grow talent within the team and to be able to assess their performance, show them where their strengths and weaknesses are and encourage them to grow within their career. Design ops or operationalizing design is one of the key responsibilities of a design leader. Being able to make sure that the right resources are in the right place to resolve the right problems is key to operationalizing the team. Making sure that the right software is there. To make sure that bringing people on board is a key function within the team. That it's not something that is forgotten. There's nothing worse than the first of the month and a whole bunch of people arrive and nobody knows what to do with them. 
This is the responsibility of a design leader to put in place a great design operation that will ensure that people know where they've got to go, they've got what they need to, to use to be able to perform from day one, to be able to make sure that the right people are brought into the room to give them guidance, to give them comfort, to ensure that no time is wasted, to be able to put in a system in place that they can get up to speed and start delivering to a standard that everyone around them is already at, that they can learn and grow, that they can find opportunity, not just, you know, be a bum in the seat, but actually see a career path for themselves. These are all really important parts of operationalizing the team by putting in standards that will ensure that when you evaluate them, they evaluate it fairly and when there is reward and when there is failure, that there is a way within the team to manage all of these things. An important part of being a design leader is to be able to collaborate with other leaders within an organization, to be able to communicate effectively to senior resources who need to understand what you do and what they can do to enable you, to be able to effectively go and get the money you need to keep that design team together and performing at the best of their ability, to be able to go fight for the resources you need, the hardware, the software, you know, to be able to make other people in the building feel part of what the design team does and that you're an accessible resource that is there to work with them and help them through the problem solving process. This is a key thing to be able to network and to be able to have stakeholders who buy into the vision of the design team. Finally, the last thing that every design leader must have, some sort of vision that everybody buys into. Being able to set this out is a key deliverable of any great design leader because you cannot every day just go in there and dictate to everybody what they're doing. Nobody has time for that. What you need to do is have a vision that is clear, that is clearly on the wall, communicated to everybody saying, hey, this is what we believe in. If you've got that, you can pull along the design team. You can get the business to buy into that. And if you're all shooting for the same thing, then you can only succeed because you're united. You're aligned in where you're all going and when you do stray you can always go back there and yes this vision can change but the thing is if you've gone through it together it's not such a big fight so setting that vision out communicating it effectively getting buy-in from both the stakeholders from the business and from the people that you lead that's the responsibility of a design leader guys if you have any further questions about design leadership please feel free to leave me a comment below and if you need my help with your company setting up either your design team or requiring me to lead the charge forward please get in touch my name is craig jameson thanks for watching subscribe like leave a comment and stay cool oh. And if there's something that you would like me to talk about and cover in my videos, please be sure to get in touch. Either comment below, jump on my other social networks, send me a DM, and I'm always happy to listen to what people want to hear.